Hey everybody, it's Frank and I'm here to uh, show you how to pack a funnel bowl. I'm going to be packing the funnel bowl with uh, cane mints. Everybody knows what cane mint is. I've heard oyster fork, no oyster fork. I know Eric's all about the oyster fork, but you need to get dirty. You don't need an oyster fork and everybody knows I know how to pack a good bowl of cane mint without an oyster fork. So uh, obviously if you get this Norline, you obviously want to make sure it smells right. And sometimes you'll need to acclimate, which means putting in a Tupperware, stirring it every hour for like four hours, and then making sure it smells right. If it doesn't smell right, let it close it up for 20 hours and then repeat. But usually it should smell right. And uh, since I live out in Vegas, my tange usually smells well, so I don't really need to acclimate it. But once you complete the acclimation, make sure it's still in this Tupperware. This is the best way to handle this product because it comes in just a... A package no no tin or anything just a package very uh, very efficient on their end but uh you don't want to stir it up a little bit before you pack your bowl make sure it's stirred up to get all the juices flowing and then you're going to want to proceed to pack it and the way I like to pack it and it's, it's Eric approved by the way I just grab clumps of this tobacco, as you'll see. I'm going to grab clumps of this tobacco in the bowl. And just set it in there. No need to uh, clump, or to... Uh, there's no need to, like, pat it down or any of that. A lot of people say, oh, pat your tobacco down, but there's no need to do that with my method. You just set your clumps in the bowl. And once you're done packing the bowl, you look at your bowl and you make sure that it's pretty evenly packed and you clear off all this stuff up the top. So I'm going to go through and just clear off the, the tobacco that's on top. Fill in any gaps. As you look, you'll see there's some gaps on this end. Fill in the gaps. And then just taking the final look and it looks pretty good. So then you'll, uh, obviously you're going to clean your hands, and then you're going to put your foil on the bowl. Proceed to make sure it's tight like a drum. That way there's no sagging, because if, if your foil sags, and your bowl's not going to smoke right. And sometimes if you don't use enough, to, enough foil on your bowl, You'll, uh, you'll notice some edges where the foil is, uh, there's enough foil and then you'll notice like air will come in your bowl and it's not going to be, you need to make sure you have enough foil for the bowl and then you're going to just proceed to pack your holes, poke your holes. I usually use about four rings. People, some people like to poke the hole in the center but I, I've used it, I've done that method for a while but it doesn't matter any way so I mean, I'm not going to poke a hole in the center for this video but if you'd like to poke a hole in the center. It might help your bowl out a little bit, but it shouldn't really make a difference. So I'm just going to proceed to pack the holes and then I'll show you my pattern. If the holes are poked, you'll see the bowl like this. Like four rings of, coal, or of holes usually is what I do. And, uh, then all you'll need to do is uh, put your charcoal in the bowl, get your hose out, clean it out, and then you'll be ready to smoke. And it's been Frank showing you how to pack a Tangier's bowl in a funnel bowl. And uh, until next time, smoke often, have fun, and enjoy.